us to our colleague Nancy Cordes, who is standing by with Senator Richard Blumenthal uh, and who will get his reaction to the dismissal of FBI Director James Comey. Uh, Nancy, take it away. Thanks, Tony. And Senator Blumenthal, you were on the Senate Judiciary Committee, and a short time ago you put out a very sharply worded statement about the president's decision. You said that President Trump has catastrophically compromised the FBI's investigation into his own White House's possible ties to the Russians. Why do you say that? The president of the United States has fired the chief investigator who was looking into the potential ties, collusion, cooperation involving Trump associates in Russian interference in our election. To put it very simply and bluntly, the FBI was investigating Donald Trump as a potential target of criminal wrongdoing, and the president fired the director of the FBI. It was brazen, one of the most staggering, stunning acts of a president compromising an investigation since the Saturday Night Massacre involving Richard Nixon. In fact, it was a Nixonian act and reminds us all about the importance of the rule of law, which evidently Donald Trump does not respect. It sounds like you think that this moment, this decision is really a turning point for the Trump administration. What we face is a constitutional crisis because not only has Donald Trump fired the director of the FBI, he has also undermine the credibility of everyone above the director of the FBI in the Department of Justice. The Attorney General of the United States has taken himself out, recused himself because of conflicts of interest. The Deputy Attorney General now has joined in firing the FBI director, which makes him a pawn of the president and really fatally undermines his credibility and trust within the Department of Justice supervising this investigation. So bottom line, if there were any question about the need for a special prosecutor, there is none now. There must be a special prosecutor, as there was in 1973, investigating Richard Nixon. Archibald Cox was appointed to do that job. Now we need a special prosecutor who is independent of the president and the Department of Justice, who can conduct an investigation objectively, aggressively, impartially, and who can help restore faith and trust in the FBI itself. So are you saying that you don't believe the White House when it says that the reason that the president fired James Comey was because of his handling of the Hillary Clinton email investigation? You think there was something else going on? That contention defies belief. For the White House to say it is firing Director Comey for something done well before Donald Trump was inaugurated president only now, only after former Attorney General Yates testified about the two and a half week delay in firing Michael Flynn, when the credibility of the White House is under severe doubt, absolutely defies credibility. And that kind of explanation further undermines trust and faith in the Department of Justice for the Deputy Attorney General to join in that contention. Republicans have always resisted the idea of appointing a special prosecutor, special prosecutor. All but a couple of them have resisted the notion of an independent commission here on Capitol Hill to investigate uh, Trump associates and their potential ties to Russian entities. What makes you think that that will change? No committee of the Congress, no independent commission can bring ch criminal charges, only the Department of Justice, and now seemingly only a special prosecutor can hold accountable individuals who have broken the law criminally. And that may well include the President of the United States. So I believe there must be bipartisan action now, and I will introduce legislation tomorrow to establish a special prosecutor. I hope we will have Republican support for it because more than just the White House or the presidency or congressional control is at stake now. It's really the fundamentals of our democracy. And beyond a special prosecutor, what else can Democrats in Congress do? Because let's face it, Republicans only need 51 votes to, uh, to confirm whoever the president nominates to be the next FBI director. So even if you don't believe that whoever he chooses can be impartial, you don't have much sway over the process. I think we need to reach out to the American public and engage and enlist people of goodwill who really 
believe our democracy is at risk right now. And I am hopeful that our Republican colleagues will not only heed the outcry and outrage, I expect, but also, as a matter of their own conscience and conviction, really act to establish a special prosecutor. Senator Richard Blumenthal, Democrat of Connecticut, thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you. Tony, back to you.